Hello and welcome to Deliberately Creative. I'm Stephanie and I want to welcome you to a really fast, really fast painting. I am doing this on a 6x12 Soho canvas panel. It, um, cardboard core, all that stuff. You know, it's just, it's an inexpensive canvas panel, but it's kind of fun to pour on things like that. I'm just going to squirt some straight, nothing added to it, true blue for the background. And then I think there's even going to be a little bit of this black tie just around the, the outside corners. There, just like that. And we will take a brush dip it in a little water just so that it's woken up and we're going to smoosh this paint around. It's going to be wet in the middle when we do our flowers. But I'm doing this because I want this sort of dramatic gray blue on the outside going to the expressive brush strokes. I don't know if any of this is actually going to show up after I've poured my, my little jars, but we'll see. There, that's done. And that actually could be a really fun background for a single flower. Maybe I'll just do one. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do one jar and use it like a flower. So what I'm going to do is get this lifted up. So I have some place for the paint to run off if it needs to. And I think, yeah, we're going to use this one. Little off center. Oh, I am going to also drop a, whoops, I wanted it to go the other direction though. I have these like lug nuts that I found. I think maybe that these can drop on like that, but I need three. So we could have a long stem, maybe, maybe I'm, there might be so much paint that pours off. I don't know because I have this cup. It was all of the leftovers from two paintings that I just did. And I put it all together in one. There's purple and teal and black and green and gold, fuchsia, white, and I think that's everything. I think that's everything. There can't be more, can there? There could be, but kitchen sink pour with garage things. <laughs> it's all recycle, all leftovers. Here we go. I'm going to let that pour. Ooh. That's pretty. And I just realized I'm not pouring any or not showing anything from the side this time. This is all deco art pouring medium with deco art paints. And I'm going to pour these and then we'll pick them up. Or maybe, ooh, no, maybe. Okay, you see what I'm doing? Pouring right over the top. And then we'll pick them up and let them pour out. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be different. And I've pretty much used, oh, I don't want to put anything on that jar. <gasps> that is beautiful. Okay. So I'm going to reach in and I'm going to grab. There, now you can see 
all the way around. That is so pretty. It's still pouring off. It's pouring off all over my hands. Look at that. All right. We're going to set it down. Okay. Well, well, all right. That's okay. We needed that paint to pour off anyway, right? We needed it to pour off. We didn't want it to be so solid. Oh, that is still so pretty. Okay, so now we're going to pick these nuts up. Whoosh. And I am going to wipe my hands off and zoom that camera in. Okay, we're going to pick pick up this one. Whoosh. <laughs> That's pretty. That's kind of fun as it goes bloop up in the middle. And then this one. And then this dirty cup, we're going to pour right into the center with all of that gold. And then this is looking more pink now. You know what? I don't want to pick it up and move it around too much. But I do. <laughs> We're just going to blow on it and see what happens. Oh, that's fun. Now this is interesting and I'm going to, I'm, I'm not going to mess with it too much. You know, I'm going to let it, let it pour off, let it, you know, whatever it wants to do. Just get the third flower back. Because what this is doing now, it's like big, huge balls of flower, flowers. <laughs> Oh, well, yeah, we're just going to. Let it pour through just a little bit. It's almost looking like a continent or something with little islands going off of it. But there's all this shimmery metallic in there. Oh, this is going to be neat. <laughs> all right. I'm going to let this just dry and see what happens. I mean, the worst that's going to happen is that it looks weird. The best, it could end up being a bouquet of flowers over the top of a vase. Doodles! I hope you guys are ready for doodling, because see you back here in just a bit. And I want to welcome you to part two of this. It's nothing to write home about. It's kind of blah. It's kind of just bleh. But I see something here. I'm thinking of a giant bouquet. And this is just a little corner of a giant bouquet of hydrangeas with some of the greenery and the flowers. 
And I was thinking that I could put it into part of a vase, maybe right along here. And I'm just going to finger paint that in. I'm going to use some of the peacock pearl that we used in the, in the painting and some of the snow titanium white. And I just put them out right here on the on this paper. I was playing with it to see what it would look like. And I think it's going to just lift this up and make it a little bit brighter. So I am just using my finger. This is DecoArt and it is a great paint. I love how the shimmer works. And I can just maybe make it so it's going to be a taller vase. And I'm letting some of that blue that's underneath of there and the black show through also, kind of as the shadow. See, look at that. But I think it needs to come up a little bit higher. And the flowers are dripping down over the edge. And I am just finger painting. The flowers themselves, I'm going to do some doodling. Get some of that doodle, doodle action going. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Now I'm just taking some of that white. I'm giving it a bit of a highlight and maybe something along this edge here. Brighten it up just a bit. All right, so by doing that, let's see. You can see how that's got some shimmer to it. I think I do want a touch of that blue back into the back in underneath of here. We're going to work some of these colors together. Just keep working it till it's what you want and you don't have to use your fingers. I am just enjoying keeping this a brush free painting. Oh, I like that. Bringing that touch of that blue in to mix with that teal peacock green blue color. And now we'll give it that touch of the highlight again. All right. Because you know this goes all the way off. Oh yeah, there. I like that. Just using the paint up off my finger. Why waste it there? And <laughs> fun stuff. Maybe a little bit more of that dark right here. Going off that edge. And down here too. Your fingers can actually blend things better than a brush sometimes. Look at that. That is already making this look more like an actual arrangement. So now the fine applicator tip bottle. This is the 20 gauge, airtight, non-clogging, reusable, and it is filled with the Snow White Titanium Deco Art Americana Paint. And now, oh yeah, I was going to show you. I found a photo of hydrangeas. The photo right there. That is by Tiffany Chan, and it's OMG 
it's Tiffany C. on Unsplash. So I loved the d deep darkness around the flowers and that, you know, it has all of these colors right here. It has all these colors. Oh. I'm going to be using the white to doodle with. And I think I want a couple focal flowers for main flowers. And then we'll go in and start doing some filling in and making flowers happen. So I think... Let's see. Well, I've already got this lovely spot right here. So I've already got this lovely spot. I think there's going to be a focal flower right there. And so looking at these, these flowers, make sure that my tip hadn't gotten all. Now this bottle does have the little metal pin inside that lines up with the tube and keeps it clear. Don't leave the bottle sitting out without that cap on it. So now the petals on a hydrangea are kind of diamond shaped almost. If you look at that up, if you look at that up there, boom, it's kind of shaped like this. And there are four petaled flowers. Just like that. Isn't that pretty? Now, there can be a little bit of a line coming from the center or going out. Just like that. And now, I want to put another kind of hero flower. And I think I'm going to move up over here. I'm sort of using these spaces that are already there to give me an anchor. And after we get a few of these flowers on, I will go into fast motion, but not yet. I want to get a few like three of these sort of hero flowers, my main ones. But I also want to put some of those leaves. You see those leaves? We've got this great area right here that already looks like a leaf. Just like that. And these leaves have a lovely center line. And they do have some really strong, 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 strong veins. And I want you to notice that I did not draw the whole leaf because I want my flowers. See, there's going to be some more flowers. So that flower is under there. And then there's another one right here. And it's going over the leaf also. But it's also going to be under. that flower there. And one of the things for these centers and the little lines coming out of the flowers, don't squeeze any more paint. Just use the tip and pull the paint back. Just use the tip of it to pull the paint in. Now I can finish up that leaf like that. There. So let's see here. I think there's going to be another leaf 
kind of poking out right here and a bit of it right like that. Going off the edge. And now I think I'm going to zoom out and let you see what I've got there. You can already see what's going to happen here, can't you? We're going to have a flower right here. Don't drive your tip into the paint. You want to really be pulling it away. You don't really want to be driving it into the paint. So I should be moving my canvas board and I will be moving it more in just a second when I'm doing all of my when I'm doing all the rest of the painting. But I wanted you to see some of this first. And now it's going to be more of the same thing. So I'm going to just turn off my sound, keep playing along here, and I'll show you what it all looks like when we're done. All right, guys, what do you think? Was it a good good call to do the fine liner? Let me know down below if you liked it before I started drawing on it or if you like it better after I did my doodling. I'll tell you which way. I, I like it way better after doing the doodling. <laughs> so let me know down below if you want to see more fun, whatever I come up with doodling type projects on pours or you know if you'd rather just see the paint get poured and then move on either way let me know down below in the comment section all of the information is down below in the more information on where I get the fine liners and all the paint colors that I used in this painting and remember like comment share subscribe and don't forget to click the bell you want to be notified when the next video goes up, don't you? As always, go out, do something creative, take care of yourself so you can take care of those around you. And I hope to see you back here really soon. Bye-bye.